Welcome. In this video, we're evaluating limits using the limit loss. So it's really tempting to want to jump straight in and rewrite this. That is, rewrite this limit of a quotient as the quotient of these two limits. And I'm not writing out what's in the numerator here, since it's only what's in the denominator that's going to cause us a problem. What is the limit as x approaches 0 of x squared? If you said 0, you're correct. That means we can't rewrite this yet, since this would cause us to have a 0 in the denominator. And according to limit law, e as seen here, you can't even apply this law if you end up with a limit who is 0 in the denominator. So let's rewrite this algebraically first. And we're going to use a little bit of al an algebraic trick. We're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the numerator. That is, we're rationalizing the numerator. So the conjugate of x squared plus 9 in the square root minus 3 is the square root of x squared plus 9 plus 3. This simplifies to the limit as x approaches 0 of the square root of x squared plus 9 squared plus 3 times the square root of x squared plus 9 minus 3 times the square root of x squared plus 9 minus 9. And this entire quantity is over x squared times the square root of x squared plus 9 plus 3. These middle terms vanish since we have 3 times the square root of x squared plus 9 minus 3 times the square root of x squared plus 9. And in our numerator, we're just left with the limit as x approaches 0 of x squared plus 9 minus 9 divided by x squared times the square root of x squared plus 9 plus 3. Let me quickly mark the terms that vanish. These are 0. Since we have two more, positive 9 minus 9 is also 0. So I can rewrite this yet again as the limit as x approaches 0 of x squared divided by x squared times the square root of x squared plus 9 plus 3. And then since this x squared in the numerator, we have its twin here in the denominator multiplied to everything else. These just become 1. Something divided by itself is 1. So this is the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over x squared plus 9 plus 3. At this point, we don't run into any problems. 0 does lie in the domain of this function. So we can apply the direct substitution property. And this gives us 1 divided by the square root of 0 squared plus 9 plus 3, which is just 1 over root 9 plus 3, or 1 over 3 plus 3, 1 6. This tells me that the limit as x approaches 0 of the square root of x squared plus 9 minus 3 divided by x squared is equal to 1 6. I hope this video was helpful.